I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. Okay. I'm ready. All right. Hey. Hey guys. No matter of <laughs> fact. We're back. I'm Benny. This is Sophia. And we have had a week off. We know we didn't mean to again. We're really sorry. There was sorry. no weather this time. Uh, it's been more down to the lack of skills from my part and the fact that we're waiting on a few parts for this big blue mess behind me. We don't want to make a boring video and we had some comments on some random Facebook pages that we made a boring video last week and we would like to make it more interesting. The thing is, we only have little updates to do on the car today, so I'm hoping that we can try and make this interesting. I'm about to install a new battery. We're going to have dual yellow tops and I just need to get the car started. So let's hope for that starts because we haven't started in about two, maybe three weeks, maybe even longer, maybe even longer than three maybe weeks. Maybe too long. Yeah, way too long for not starting the car. <laughs> And we're gonna work on just trying to get the bodywork in the front sorted because we're waiting on some parts for the back doors and we're waiting on parts for pretty much every part of the car. We've got a snorkel on its way. So we're gonna drill a hole in the side of the fender when that turns up. Yep. So basically today's just prep and I'm hoping that we can maybe do a little bit of a drone or something like in the middle of here that we can, uh, that can really like jive this video up a bit and show you guys a little bit of like the real pretty area we are in in Miami we're not making any promises though yeah no promises <laughs> here but I'll try I'll do my best anyway uh this is where we are and let's do it yes <laughs> So to save some money, we bought ourselves a slightly smaller yellow top, um, which should still work in the main battery position. It just has a lower cold cranking amps uh, output. I'm not 100% sure that that matters because we live in Florida and we're generally in the heat, but the one that we have here in the secondary spot has a higher cold cranking amps, which we paid, I think we paid about the same for it, but we got a really good deal on this one. So ideally I'd have this one in the second spot and this one in the main battery spot. Uh, the way our battery mounts work is that this one we bought for an Optima battery, the other one we didn't. I know this is really boring and it doesn't make sense, but basically I need to work out how to move this one over there and make it fit into a non Optima battery box, whatever you want to call it. So uh, yeah, that's what I'm trying to work out right now. Pretty much a year ago we put these batteries in and we still haven't driven the car. Don't listen to your boyfriend, is the answer to that. <laughs> yeah, 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 it'll be finished in a couple of months. Yeah, yeah, it'll be fine. Yeah, 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 I can do it, sure. Like, yeah. Scratch that, I'm a dumb dumb. Uh... <sighs> Battery works. <laughs> I wonder if I got that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that at home, kids. That's how people weld with like car batteries though. Just so everyone knows that. Do you know why that happened? Because it's the metal metal or whatever. Because the negative is connected to the car body and the positive is connected to the thing. So I touched the thing in the car body, like here. Don't do that. Moment of truth. All right. 
So the car started first go. She's chilling. It's probably really loud on the camera, but started first go. Everything works. We now have two Optima yellow tops. So really, we should be safe in any situation, and I'm hoping that these last for as long as we need to finish the car. Hey. Hi. That's my brother. We got something. This could make our video way more interesting. What could it be? We don't know. Oh, bro, you know what it is? What is it? We mentioned this earlier in the video. What is oh. it? What is that? Is that a snorkel already? It's a snorkel. Oh my god, boss. This is where we start all the arguments. Which way does the snorkel face, forwards or backwards? It's the, what the, like the age old question. Is it? Yeah. So the reality is uh, we couldn't afford the ARB snorkel. And uh, we were trying to get one of those cool uh, Japanese ones or Chinese ones or whatever they are with the Land Cruiser on the side and we couldn't find one. So we ordered this one and it was off eBay and it was cheap. And it turns out it's one of those cheap ones with Land Cruiser on it. Get the side. out of <laughs> You said it didn't have it. I know, how cool is that? No way. What a fluke. So yeah, so this goes... Up there like that and... Up there like so, I think, and then this goes into here somehow. It's so much like, less intense than I thought it would be. It's cool though. Yay, a land cruiser and everything. I don't know how to, I don't know how it all works, but let's work it out. Seems pretty well made. We could, um, we could paint this the green. You think? I don't know. That's a little too much. Right? Yeah, but how cool. Yay! Still got, a video, I told you our video would be exciting. <laughs> Just for us. <laughs> all right. So I have no idea what comes with the fancy, expensive uh, ARB snorkels, but at the moment, the cheapest one we can find online is $444. So we're not spending $444 on a snorkel. It's like a large percentage of the portion of the purchase of this car. So with this, with this cheap snorkel that we got online, we get a pretty plasticky feeling head. There's no uh, filter or anything in this. Um, that's just kind of what comes with it. There is a uh, bendy piece of pipe and there is the snorkel which has Land Cruiser written on it and that kind of goes like that and it has uh, holes drilled in it and it has this little thing on the end uh, and on the other upside here there's obviously somewhere where a bracket goes and then in the plastic bag that comes with it there's a piece of cardboard that looks like this and there's no uh there's like three markings on it which is where the three holes are drilled but there's no marking for where the the like snorkel gets uh hole gets drilled into the fender and then there's a bag here with some clamps some nuts and bolts some rivets and a bracket and that's it there's no instructions there's no anything that tells me how i'm going to do this my thought is that so i just lined up the cardboard with the the holes that are on the thing and I just started like making a mark where the just started making a mark where the um the snorkel outlet goes so that way if I at least get the so I'll show you that so like that way if I at least get the uh the holes in the right place I should be able to work out where the snorkel hole goes so before I completely ruin this piece of cardboard though I'm going to um hold it up against the car and I'm gonna mark where these holes need to go because I feel like what's gonna happen is I'm gonna cut this thing out and then I'm not gonna be able to use this cardboard as a template anymore. So I'm gonna do that right now. Let me help you. So my 
my pretty assistant, Sophia, might actually hold me, hold the camera maybe for me here. So, and this is a guess, guys. Like, I'm guessing here because I don't have really any other way of knowing, but it looks like that's the right curve there, you know? And it looks like this is the right curve here. It does, doesn't it? So, like, this is my assumptions, and then you know what everybody thinks about assumptions. Anyway, if I can get the lid off this pen, I draw from a fucking dot. So, alright, we look like they're all lined up. We've got one, two, three. Well okay, so now I'll draw this for now, just in case. Okay. And then at least I know where it goes, right? So far we have, tato. So far we have where the hole's gonna go, the three holes where the screws will go through and where I'm going to put a massive hole in the side of the fender which is hopefully not in the wrong spot. So that's what I've got for now. There's definitely a lot of things down in there that are right there though. Ah, uh, whatever. Let's work it out. But I'm going to guess it's like 5 sixteenths. This is what happens when you don't have instructions. You just guess guys. I don't have a set of uh, verniers or calipers or whatever you want to call them either. So. My trick for knowing when to stop, because these things cut through this metal really quickly, is to mark the one um, after the one I need to be at. So that way I know I only need to go up to the blue, and that way I don't have to, I don't hack through it too far and I make a hole that's too big. Right here, we have a pretty, a pretty bobo head, but you can always replace the head and get a nice one. But uh, it looks like that's kind of where it's supposed to go. It's kind of odd because the, the actual snorkels at a bit of an angle. I don't know whether you can see that kind of like going up, which I was kind of trying to fight against. But the the angle when it hits the edge of the the windscreen, or the like the edge of the like sort of pillar is perfect. So I think it's actually designed to do that. It's designed to like tilt up a slightly, which is going to throw me off a little bit, but whatever. And uh, I got the hole nice and tight. Everything's, everything's lined up okay. Comes in and out okay. I'll probably just, I'll probably like just smooth the outsides of this hole a little bit. Uh, but my measurements worked, which is crazy. So I'm amazed that it actually worked. Um, yeah. Productive day, really. And a more interesting video than what it was going to be. Hopefully. Sorry, if it's not, but... Sorry, not sorry.
got really dark while I uh, before I could give you guys a, a wrap up. But the snorkel's on. It's over there. It's going to have to come off again because we're going to paint underneath it. Um, I just want to make sure all the holes were drilled before we started painting so that way I can prime them and make sure there's no rust. Um, wasn't a super exciting video today. Hope you enjoyed the little uh, drone montage in the middle there. But other than that, I will see you guys next week. Please like and subscribe if you want to keep up with our adventures. Bye. Just want to give you guys a little barn door update too, because while I was out here today, I've um, just tried to fit the the main seal on the back door. So ours is uh, ours was here, and it was really it was really messed up. And this seal is actually made for the barn doors, so it's a non-US spec uh, aftermarket rubber seal. And um, what that's shown me by by just test fitting these is that. The doors are going to seal nicely. Like I can slam that, and it's not going to—it's not going to affect anything. It's not going to mess with the car. It's not going to jam or whatever. But um, it's actually accentuating the uh, the issue we're having here down this line. Uh, so I'm actually—I'm going to have to like really either recondition the hinges, or I'm going to have to—I'm going to have to do something because uh, it just—it just isn't. Um, it just isn't swinging in as, as nicely as you'd want it. But I do know it's going to be waterproof and I do know it's going to lock okay. So that's one good thing. And the seals are really good. So I don't know where, I can't remember where we got this one from, but I'll, I'll uh, if I can remember, I'll link it down below in the video. Um, anyway, that's a barn door update.